Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. Today I wanted to show you guys a tweak and tutorial on Windows 7 and Vista for rearming or reactivating your Windows uh, 7 or Windows Vista activation period. Now let's say you've just reinstalled or you put Windows on a new hard drive and I know a couple of you guys emailed me about this. Uh, so for an example, I installed a new Velociraptor on my PC recently and I put Windows 7 but I put the trial version on it. So by default you have 30 days to activate it with a, a product key. Now you have a command known as slmgr rearm which will allow you to use the Windows 7 up to 120 days so you can use the command three extra times to reactivate your Windows for a total again of 30 times 4, 120 days. Um, but you can actually push it to activate it for 360 days in total so up to a year uh, using a simple tweak. Now uh, it's very very simple so obviously to run this command first off what you want to do is you want to click on your start menu type in cmd for command prompt and you can hit control shift and enter which will open it in administrator mode or you can right click and run as administrator now the command looks uh, like this so it's slm gr space dash rearm and uh, again you have to make sure the space and the dash is there uh, now you can run this command like I said by default three times now when you hit enter it's gonna uh, not it's not gonna show anything on the command prompt but you're gonna get a window that pops up saying it's prompting you to restart your computer uh, now you can do that, uh, you can do the registry tweak after or before you restart, whatever you want to do. But after you run that command, uh, what you want to do is exit the uh, command prompt and open up what they call registry editor, or for short, reg edit. Uh, you can go ahead and type that in, open it, and this is the key you want to navigate to in Windows uh, 7. This is the string right here. I'll leave this in the video description as well. Uh, what I mean by string is I'm going to go ahead and close all these windows down. If you've never used registry edit before, uh, basically, you're going to have these uh, four or I should say five main folders here and you want to open up your H key local machine. Just click the down arrow right here to expand it. Next, go to software and expand that. Find Microsoft and expand that. Scroll down all the way to Windows NT. And you'll find that right here. Expand that. You'll have one folder in there that, and one folder in there that says current version. Go ahead and expand it. And lastly, you want to find one that says Software Protection Platform and just click the folder. You don't need to actually expand it. And you'll see this key right here that says Skip Rearm. Double click that and you'll see a value here that will say, uh, by default, the value will be zero. You can set that to one. Uh, so once you do that, just leave that at hexadecimal, reset it to one, hit OK. What this will allow you to do is use the command up to eight more times. So in total, you'll be getting 360 days for using Vista R7. Now keep in mind, if you're on Windows Vista, there is a little bit of a difference in your uh, string. Instead of it being software protection platform, it's going to be a folder that says SL, capital SL. Everything else before that should be about the same. It'll be software, Microsoft. Windows NT current version SL. I'll leave that string in the video description as well. After you do that guys, that's all there is to it. Go ahead and restart your computer and you'll be able to run that command up to again eight times in total. So again 360 days and you shouldn't be getting any you know reactivate windows or wallpaper. Hope that helps out guys. Check it out. Hope this helps out those guys' emails. For more content guys head over to digitaldojos.com. We have more tips, tw uh, tweaks, tricks for your Windows, you know, OS 10 and Linux needs and in general tech news. So check it out guys, don't forget it helps a lot if you guys can like the video, just click of a button, hit that thumbs up, comment and leave your feedback. And of course, last but not uh, last but least, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.